BET's new series, In Contempt, is an hour-long drama in the fast-paced world of a legal aid office in New York City. They're going to flip the script on the typical legal drama. The show takes away the designer suits and rich defendants and features talented and passionate nonprofit lawyers fighting for society's most vulnerable citizens. Starring Erica Ash and Richard Lawson, they join me now. Thank you so much for your time today. Of course. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Thanks for being here. So I think first, what is it, everyone is talking about is this is a different kind of legal show. And obviously on paper, it's different just because of the cases that you take. But how else is it different? What can people expect when they check out In Contempt? Well, you're going to be looking at um, all the procedures from the perspective of the public offender. These are the people who are generally presumed guilty until proven innocent. Um, you know, they're always perceived as the bad guys. And my character, Gwen Sullivan, who is devoutly um, concerned with justice and making sure that justice truly is for all in a system where that's generally not the case. Um, and she's willing to do absolutely anything for her clients. And so you're going to see, you know, all the, the different loopholes and the cracks that these, these um, alleged offenders fall through. Um, in their pursuit of, of justice. And then you'll also see a lot of the problems with the legal system up close and personal and how that affects these people who are defending pretty much their lives. You know, it seems like there's some of those topics that right now are in the news. So being able to be actors and portraying, we still want to point out, though, that this actually was created by a former member of the Legal Aid Society in Manhattan. So is there some uh, mm -hmm. legitimacy to the storyline then, given who it was created by? And then again, some of those topics that people are talking about today. What do you think, Richard? I think what you'll be seeing is like you, you just said, it's like it's a lot of stuff that's in the news. And so the, so the stories you will see are the stories that you hear about, the stories that you've heard your, about friends, about relatives, about somebody on your block in your neighborhood who you used to go to school with. It's so topical and so present and present day that it will feel like you know these people. And, and, and that's what's so cool about it. And at the same time, the people who are defending these people are perfectly flawed people who have a humor, charm, irony, who are real people dealing with their own, you know, their own imperfections and their own conflicts and challenges. And to add to that, you did mention Terry Kopp, who is our showrunner and creator. Um, she lends her authenticity on several levels. I mean, obviously, you know, making sure that when you're seeing the legal speak, it's all correct, and making sure that the procedures of the courtroom that we are representing are represented, you know, um, accurately. But also the cases that you're going to be seeing in these 10 episodes are cases that she's either tried or colleagues of hers have tried. So it won't necessarily just mimic the cases that you'll see when you turn on CNN, because unfortunately, you know, we're in a loop pattern as far as that's concerned. A lot of these cases happen over and over and over again, but they are cases that she has actually tried. So we're talking about the legal aspects. There's also a, a personal side to this. Father-daughter here. How's the relationship as yes. far as you yeah. go? Because I know that's something that you're very proud of. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my children, um, all of my children. <laughs> um, my, my family's gotten, gotten larger, but you know, they're all like amazing, amazing people. Mm -hmm. but, um, but she and I, uh, Erica and I, um, Gwen and Earl, in terms of our characters, um, have, have uh, Erica and Richard have, have a, an attachment in that we, our chemistry has been so great off screen that she is really kind of like my daughter. She's my adopted daughter now. And Earl. Which and means Beyonce and I are sisters. <laughs> What's the name that you came up with? Beyonjica. She's That's going to be the new group. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, and I want to talk really so, quick, too. Erica from Florida, so mm -hmm. I've got to recognize that from the Sunshine State. Not a lot of native yes. uh, Floridians around. Do you get to come back and visit at all? <laughs> Um, every once in a while, um, I, I, I visited a lot more when my grandparents were alive, but we sort of scattered a bit. But that is the place that I was born, and there will always be a place in my heart for Florida. Good stuff. Thank you to the both of you. And Erica, what's your new name again? Bianca. That's the new group with me, Beyonce, Solange, and Bianca, I like and it. Kelly Rowland. I like right. it. Well, once again, in contempt, you can catch it on BET starting April 10th at 10 o'clock. Thank you. Thanks, Natalie.